Whether you're using a Phytech Go EFI throttle body system or one of our Ultimate LS systems, we have fan control setups for you. These fan controls are a ground side trigger and require the use of a fan relay to hook them up. So on the vehicle behind us, we have an LS system with a couple of fan controls that we can hook up and we're gonna show you how to do that today. The process is exactly the same with the throttle body setups, whether you're using one or two electric fans. When you're selecting a fan relay, select a relay that can handle the amp draw of the fan itself. When you're hooking up the fan, there's gonna be a hookup connection at one point and then you're gonna ground the fan to the chassis. We're gonna use the switching circuit of the relay as the control off the EFI system. You're gonna look at a relay and there's gonna be a bunch of numbers on the bottom of it. You're gonna have 85 and 86. This is your triggering circuit. Then you're gonna have 30, which is your main power in, and then 87 and 87A, and that's your switching signal. So when you're hooking up your relay, you're gonna hook up wire 30 straight to a power source, something that can handle the amp load of your electric fans, something that is a large gauge wire. Your other side to 87 is gonna go to your electric fan. Then pin 86 can grab power from anywhere you like, and then pin 85 is going to get your ground wire off of the Phytech EFI system. We're going to key on on the vehicle and we're going to go into the handheld to initial setup and then to our fan and AC setup, since this is the Ultimate LS kit. And then we have our fan on temperatures and off temperatures. You'll also notice that there's an enable disable selection. So if I wanted to shut off this fan circuit, I can go to disable and send it to the ECU. Since I want it on, I'm gonna turn it on. And then as far as your temperatures, you wanna select your coolant temperature and that you want to have the electric fan turn on. So on this one, I have 183 degrees on. And notice that the off temperature is a little bit lower. We want to cycle between the two temperatures for the fans to turn on and off. Now you'll go on to fan number two, the Ultimate LS systems, and then the power adder versions of the Phytech systems also have the second fan. You'll notice that there's a second set of temperatures. Make sure that this second set of temperatures is slightly higher to help keep your engine cool if it exceeds your first fan switching. On the Ultimate LS systems and then the Power Adder systems with the two fan controls, we also have the ability of using the AC control. My vehicle doesn't have an AC in it, so I have this disabled. But if you were to enable it, you could choose to turn on one of the fans when the AC turns on. Be sure when you make any of these changes, you hit OK to send your information to the ECU. Now that we have our menu set up the way that we like it, we can key off on the vehicle and we can let the system save its information and we can fire it up, get it up to temperature and check the fan slow operation. Now that we got the engine up to temperature and we verified the fans are working, I wanna go over a couple of key points. When we go in and we change our fan temperature on and off, we want to make sure that there are difference between the two temperatures. The on temperature needs to be a little bit higher, usually about two to four degrees higher than your off temperature. This will ensure that the cycling of the fan turns on and off. If you have a 180 thermostat, you may want to hook up your fan and turn it on at about 182 to 185 degrees and that'll make sure that the engine stays at that optimum temperature. Now in the future, if you ever find your electric fans are not working, go ahead in the handheld and check the fault code section and hit the clear button. If the fans immediately start working, maybe there is something going on with the relay and I would recommend swapping it out at that time. If it didn't work still and you still have that code, start checking around. Check your fuses, check the wiring connections, 
check the fan itself. Maybe the fan died. Thank you for tuning into this week's Tech Tuesday. If you have any additional questions on hooking up a fan, please comment them down below. And if you have any suggestions on future videos, please share that as well. 